Good morning, Britain. Fighting for their lives after being poisoned by the Novichok nerve agent. A couple from Wiltshire are in a critical condition after being exposed to the same toxin which nearly killed Sergei and Yulia Skripal in Salisbury. Police are warning the public to be vigilant and we are there on the scene. Battling against the rising floods, desperate attempts are being made to pump water from the cave in Thailand where 12 boys and their football coach are trapped. Rescuers hope to begin freeing them imminently. We're live at the scene as the story develops. Celebrating its 70th birthday today, the NHS reaches a milestone. But is it in good health? And no cure for Dr. Alex's heartbreak. His desperate attempts to find a soulmate have left him lovesick again. So is it time for Alex to pack his bags and leave the villa? Thursday, 5th of July, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Kate Garraway. And our main news at 7 o'clock, counter-terrorism police have confirmed that the couple taken ill at the weekend were poisoned by the same nerve agent used against former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia in Salisbury earlier on this year. Shirley Rowley and uh, uh, Dawn Sturgis, both in their 40s, were found unconscious at a house in Amesbury and Wiltshire on Saturday. They remain in a critical condition after being exposed to the substance Novichok. Now, Nick Dixon has this report. Police validate what many speculated. Two more people have fallen victim to the lethal nerve agent Novichok. We can confirm that the man and woman have been exposed to the nerve agent Novichok, which has been identified as the same nerve agent that contaminated both Yulia and Sergei Skripal. The couple, named locally as Charlie Rowley and Don Sturgis, were found unconscious on Saturday in Amesbury in Wiltshire, only eight miles from where former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia ate on the day they were poisoned four months ago. Wiltshire police initially thought that the couple had taken contaminated crack cocaine or heroin, but then decided to carry out further tests. Experts say the nerve agent's characteristics make it especially difficult to trace and its impact is deadly.